Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the median for group data. So the median is the middle value in a set of quantities. Yun nga lang, uh, hindi ka agad natin yan makikita guys pagka ang given natin is group data. Okay? So to find the value of median, gagamitin natin yung formula na median is equals to x sub lb plus the quantity of n over 2 minus cf sub b over f sub m times i. Okay? So where x sub lb is the lower boundary no ating uh, true lower limit of the median class. So, mamaya, um, ituturo ko kung paano ba natin malolocate yung median class. Okay? Next is the N, which is the total frequency. Then, CF is the cumulative frequency before. Tandaan na. That is the cumulative frequency before the median class. Then, F is the frequency of the median class. Then, I is the size of the class interval. Okay? So, let's have example 1. Calculate the median scores of 60 students who took a 30-point math quiz. So, given dito guys is yung ating frequency distribution. So, we have the class interval or yung ating scores. Then, yung F which is the frequency. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito guys to find the median is kunin muna natin yung less than cumulative frequency ng ating frequency distribution. Okay? So, para magawa yan is kukopyahin nyo guys yung um, frequency ng ating lowest class interval. Okay? So, since 14 yung ating frequency doon sa pinaka mababang lower na class interval is ang starting point din natin dito sa ating CF is 14 din. Okay? Then, ipa-plus natin ngayon to, yung sumunod na frequency. So, 14 plus 10, that is 24. Tama? Then, plus 6, we have 30. Then, plus 8, that is 38. Plus 6, we have 44. Then, plus 6, we have 50. Plus 3, that is 53. Plus 3, we have 56. Plus 3, that is 59. Then, plus 1, we have 60. Okay? So, nakuha ba kung paano natin sinolve yung ating less than cumulative frequency? Next is, kukunin na natin ngayon yung location ng ating median class. Okay? So, ang formula na gagawin, gagamitin natin para malocate yung ating median class is yung n over 2. So, since ang n natin is 60, i-divide nyo lang yan guys by 2. So, that is 30. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, makikita natin guys yung ating median sa pang 30th na score natin. So, saan tayo ngayon titingin? So, dito kayo ngayon magbe-base sa ating less than cumulative frequency. Okay? So, hanapin nyo nasaan ba yung ating 30 dyan. So, kung makapansin nyo, nandito siya sa may um, pangatlong row galing sa baba. ba? Meron tayong 30. Ibig sabihin, si median is makikita between 14 and 15 class interval. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung ating uh, median class. Naintindihan ba guys? So, what if guys kung walang 30 doon sa ating less than CF? Okay, paano nyo ngayon pipiliin yung ating median class? So, ang pipiliin nyo guys kung walang exacto doon sa nakompute natin na 30 is yung uh, nearest sa kanya at the same time dapat mas mataas kay 30 okay, ibig sabihin kung may 32 dyan, tas kung wala tayong 30 pwede natin piliin yung 32 okay, again 
dapat mas mataas dun sa makocompute nating location. Okay? So, ngayon pwede na natin uh, gamitin yung ating formula para ma-solve natin yung ating median. So, ang formula natin, we have median is equals to x sub lb, that is our uh, lower class boundary, plus the quantity of n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency below the median class over f sub m, that is our frequency ng ating median class, times i. Okay? So, bago natin uh, i-apply yung ating formula, identify muna natin yung mga given. So, una, we have uh, x sub lb, that is the lower boundary. So, dito guys, uh, ang lower class interval natin is 14. Tama? So, magma-minus lang kayo dyan ng 0.5, that is our uh, lower class boundary ng ating median class. Okay, so 14 minus 0.5, that is 13.5. Okay, so next is yung ating n, which is equals to 60. Then yung ating cumulative frequency before the median class. So ang CF ng ating median class is 30. So before 30, we have 24. Tama? So yan yung ating gagamitin doon sa ating formula mamaya. Next is yung ating frequency ng median class, which is equals to 6. Then last is yung ating class size. So yung i guys is makukuha dito sa ating um, class interval. So bilangin nyo lang kung ilang ba yung nasa class, yung range ng ating class interval. So we have 14, then 15. So dalawa lang yung number natin. So ibig sabihin, ang i natin is equals to 2. Okay, so ngayon, after natin ma-identify yung mga gagamitin natin doon sa ating formula, pwede na natin ngayon isolve yan. Okay, so median is equals to x sub lb, that is 13.5, plus n over 2, so that is 60 over 2. Minus the CF before, so that's 24. Over the frequency, which is 6. Times I, so ang I natin is equals to 2. Tama? So, simplify natin to ngayon, guys. We have median is equals to 13.5. Plus 60 divided by 2, that is 30. Minus 24 over 6 times 2. Next is combine na natin ngayon yung mga nasa parenthesis. 30 minus 6, 24, that is 6. Then divided by 6, we have 1. Tama? Then 2 yung nasa labas. So 13.5 plus 1 times 2, this is 2. Then, add nyo lang yan guys. So, ang median natin is equals to 15.5. Tama? So, after natin ngayon guys, masolve yung median ng ating group data. Kailangan nyo yan guys, interpret. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng median equals 15.5? So, since si median is the middle score ng ating uh, set of data, so that means na 50% of the data falls below 15.5 Tama? Then, 50% of the data falls above 15.5 Okay, so ganyan guys mag-interpret ng median. So, this is the end of our video. I hope guys, naintindihan nyo kung paano ba natin kinuha yung median ng ating group data. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. 
बाय